it would make a lot of sense for the cap to be to be um, set quite tight, you know, 100 basis points, 150. I think if you start going 200 or higher, you, you basically the ECB is saying the market is working. We're just, we're, you know, we're bending it to our will. But it makes sense for Italy to be trading way above France and Germany and so forth. And I don't think that's the message they want to send. At the 10-year end, even 500 to 550 basis points would be good enough. This exercise need not be about bringing yields down. This exercise should be about providing a safety net so that private investors once again feel confident playing the market themselves. They will be looking at uh, keeping market psychology uh, calm and therefore uh, keeping the absolute level of Spanish yields below 7%. So uh, really I think uh, uh, on the date of the decision they'll look where Bund yields are, uh, look where Spanish yields are and decide on a spread that will comfortably keep below uh, Spanish 10-year yields below that 7% level. If you leave that high a spread then you don't have rates in Germany which probably needs higher rates rising as much. So the idea is to I would guess is to create a convergence where, let's say, Italian yields don't fall by 300 basis points, they only fall by maybe 150, 200, but the other bit of the work is being done by German yields rising. If it were to look at something like two-year yields, um, if we were to use that as the, as the, as the benchmark, let's say, um, and to speculate where, for instance, uh, it might uh, set a, uh, a yield target or a spread target on uh, on Spain uh, over Germany, then I think we're probably looking at uh, somewhere around the sort of 2% or so uh, sort of mark.